I'm so excited for the new Game of Thrones season. Me too. All right, let's watch it, girl. <laughs> Stay low. If you're lucky, no one will notice you. I was born lucky. Perhaps we should sue for peace. Wait a minute. What do you know about dwarfism? It's funny you say that. I actually have a friend. His name's Aiden, and he's diagnosed with a chondroplasia. He's 12 years old. Can I meet him? Sure. All right. Okay, yeah. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Yes, I am Dina Harris, and I am Aiden's custodial grandmother. And I am also the president of the Puget Sound chapter of the Little People of America organization. Hey, my name is Aiden Harris, and I have his pants on. <laughs> and how old are you? Twelve. Um, play video games. <laughs> like every other kid. <laughs> Me and my friend Michael play uh, on the Xbox together, and um, like at school, I play football, tag football, not like tackle football. Because mm -hmm. if I play tackle football, that can really damage my neck. Um, wall ball, flyers, soccer, just a lot of games. Um, people that don't know me, they pull up, they like stare at me, just like, Stay away for like 10 to 15 minutes or so, and then they just start pulling out the phone and like just take a video of me. Yeah. When I was like 10 or 11, I went to the Pacific Science Center and I took my Segway. And then uh, when we were leaving, there was this girl, I heard her phone out, just like pointing it at me. I was like, What? And I don't know if she was taking the video or not. So um, achondroplasia is a disproportionate dwarfism where the arms and legs are shortened. There's um, frontal bossing in the forehead, um, heads are bigger. Um, it is the most common form of dwarfism of the 200 types of dwarfisms out there. It has. So it's the FGFR3 gene which is um, primarily responsible for, it's the growth receptor gene, so it's primarily responsible for controlling growth within um, the long bones. Spontaneous mutation, so 80% of children born with any type of skeletal dysplasia are born to average height parents. Um, that is the case in our family. We do not have any dwarfing syndromes in our family at all um, that we're aware of. Um, and it, just a spontaneous genetic mutation. There's a lot going on in regards to the GFR3 gene right now. And it's very, very interesting. And it's a little, for the, for the LP community, it's actually a little unnerving. Um, there are a handful of companies right now, I know BioMarin is one of them, that um, has is actually working on an, an injection that you would start very young in life. Um, a, a baby that's born with a chondroplasia could um, get injections that would actually cause their lung bones to grow. Um, the, the issue is, is it's seeking to eradicate a community of people, a community like Aiden, um, who is wonderful and really perfect exactly who he is. Um, so the people who are creating these needs for change are not little people, they're average height people. And so somewhere along the line, somebody decided that being little wasn't okay and we needed to fix that little people don't need to be fixed. They have wonderful, productive, quality lives um, that, that don't need fixing. Yes, so I became involved about seven years ago in on a, we've always been involved since the time he went to his first meeting when he was about six months old, um, but I've been involved 
actively for about seven years on the board of directors in the Puget Sound region. And um, my role is to really create a community, um, both within the LPA community of helping bring LPs together, um, but also to create community awareness and education about dwarfism. It's a very misunderstood condition. And um, so we do a lot of work in the community educating uh, school children on acceptance of differences, um, not just dwarfism, but all kinds of differences. And then one of the biggest things that we do in Little People of America is families who are newly diagnosed, learning that they're going to have a child with dwarfism, um, helping them get connected to the right medical professionals, um, and helping to support them and let them know that it's going to be okay. This is, this is okay. It's your, your life is going to be a glorious, wonderful life, and so is your child's. And so that's one of the things that from the time that Aiden has been very young, we have always told him that your body may be smaller than everybody else's, but your voice is just as loud. And to use it to be, to advocate for yourself, to advocate for others, to educate, um, to inspire. And, and he's done a really, really good job of that. Wow, I'm so glad I got to meet your friend. Me too. I'm so glad we got the opportunity to learn more about achondroplasia. Yeah, it really is just a form of diversity.